Hey folks, welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. We've got another great tutorial for you today. You are going to be learning how to blur out faces and moving objects in Premiere Pro. Now you may want to do this to protect someone's privacy or you don't have the rights to have these faces or objects in the video, which is why you need to blur it out. Let's get started here. I'm going to go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. I have a clip on the timeline. It's of this woman just walking across the street here. If you want to work with the exact video I'm working with today, you can download it in the description below. And we are going to just blur out her face. We're going to give her some privacy because she doesn't want to be in this video. The first thing we're going to do is go into our effects panel and we're going to search for the Gaussian blur effect. Here it is. Now go ahead and drag that onto the clip. Okay, so let's move the playhead a couple of frames till we see her full face. Right here is great. In the effect controls panel, we're going to click the pen tool underneath the Gaussian blur effect. And that will create a mask. Now we're going to create a mask around her entire face. You click on the screen, click on the screen again, hold down, drag to kind of add those curves. Click on the screen, drag, click on the screen, drag. And great. So that's a nice little shape we have here. Now under blurriness, let's pump up the blurriness. And we can use the mask feather to kind of feather it out so it looks a little more natural. So that looks good to me. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit mask path. If you hit the track selected mask forward tool, it will automatically mask the object for you. Sometimes it does a great job, sometimes it doesn't. For this quick clip, we're actually going to manually do it, but go ahead and play with this setting and see how it turns out for you. So we're going to actually go backwards first for when she's entering the screen here. So I'm going to move it back a few frames. I'm going to take the mask and I'm going to move it back here. And you can see that it makes another keyframe. We're going to move it back a few frames and we're going to move this mask off of the screen. So now you can see that it comes on the screen with her. Now we're going to do this in every couple of frames. We're not going to do every frame because that's a bit too tedious. So we'll move it across. We'll move this over. And again, you see it makes a keyframe. Move it across, move it over. We're just doing a rough job now. We can actually go back and fix it later if we need to or add more keyframes if we need to. So just keep doing that for the entire clip. As you can see, she kind of ducks behind her umbrella there and we don't really need the blur effect anymore. So what I'm going to do is just have the blurriness fade out. So around here, we're going to make a keyframe on the blurriness. And then when we get to ducking under the umbrella, we're going to just change it to zero. So you can see that blurriness kind of just fades out there. And then she walks off the screen. So let's take a look at the job we did. I think that's pretty good. I'm just going to go frame by frame to see if we missed anything. I think that looks pretty good. Thanks so much for watching, folks. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more Adobe tutorials. Have a great day, folks.